Understanding the Advanced Settings in the SpyPoint app. The advanced settings in your SpyPoint app control various features that may or may not apply to your specific device. We're going to go through these settings and discuss the options that may exist, but keep in mind not every device will have every one of these settings. Once you've navigated to the settings for your specific device, you'll see the advanced configuration is the last option. Click the plus sign to expand the available advanced configuration options for your device. The first option you might see is the date format. This allows you to toggle between the month, day, year, or day, month, year date format. Next, you may see the time format, which allows you to choose between a 12 hour or a 24 hour time format. You may also see the temperature unit setting, which lets you switch between Fahrenheit or Celsius temperature scale. Your camera may also be equipped with a flash system that allows for the customization of night mode. This setting changes the IR intensity. No Glow offers an invisible flash setting, but comes with a reduced flash range. Optimal provides a balance between No Glow and Boost to provide a middle of the ground for a lower glow effect and somewhat expanded flash range while Boost extends that flash range to its maximum levels. The Blur Reduction setting is a custom setting designed to reduce the blurring effect of a moving object in nighttime photos. The Schedule setting expands and allows you to select downtimes where the camera does not operate. The schedule defaults to the camera always being active, and this should only be used when you want to specifically exclude some days or time of the day from the operation window. The power source setting allows you to select an alternate power source other than the standard AA battery option. Be sure when using a 12 volt kit or lithium battery pack to choose the correct power source. This is an important setting to ensure is accurate when you turn your camera on because it directly impacts the accuracy of your battery meter. Your camera may also allow you to toggle between fast or optimal trigger speed settings. The fast setting ensures the least amount of time between the detection and a photo being captured. On the fast setting, because of the time between detection and photos reduced, the camera sensor may not have enough time to calculate an optimal exposure setting, so image quality may suffer due to over or under exposure. Using the optimal trigger speed setting will ensure the camera is able to detect the photo settings and produce the best possible image given the ambient conditions. You might also be able to select a photo quality setting. This will change the size of the file saved to the SD card. When set on medium, the file will be saved at 2 megapixel resolution, while when on high, the photo will be saved in the full resolution for the camera. Saving a smaller file increases storage on the SD card and also saves battery life by reducing the processing power required to handle the photos. No matter what this setting is set at, the thumbnail resolution in the app will not change unless a full HD photo request is made. The last option you may see is a toggle for cellular function. This allows you to turn off the cellular communication feature. It will continue to take photos and save them to the SD card that is installed, but it will not communicate with the app. Please note that if you disable the cellular function, you may need to physically visit the camera to turn the camera off and back on to re-enable the cellular function. For more helpful and informative videos like this, visit spypoint.com support.